the Midwest, home sweet home in good old Indiana, a place of small towns, cozy families gathered together, and fields of corn and rustic woods. But, like any town, there is a dark underbelly that often goes unnoted. We are part of that darkness. We lurk in the shadows to bring you the best in horror, metal, and stories of the grotesque. This is Blood in the Cornfields. All right, what is up, cellar dwellers? We are back. I am Mark. I am Ivy. And we are Blood, Blood in, in the, the Cornfields. Corn yeah, so today we <laughs> finally... Yes. Finally. 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 We've been talking about this. We've been hyping it up. Everybody's been talking about it. Fucking everybody. Everybody. And we're late to the bandwagon. We're not talking about Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. That's in the past. (laughs) We've already... That passed. Yeah. No, we are going to be talking about the substance. Yes. Uh, I'm looking forward to this one. Um, I've been on a little bit of a crummy movie streak, just watching stuff on my own, too, so... You know, wanting to see this one, but waiting for you. Um, oh, you waited sure. for me? Wait, I had to. I appreciate yeah, that. Aww. Well, I went to Beetlejuice thinking that you were going to go before yeah. me. And then I went like the day after you were going to go. Yep. And I don't think... I don't think I knew you didn't go until after or like yeah, that's had true. Tickets. That's true. So that's why because we initially were gonna go and then I think Casper was sick. And yeah, it was it was cancel. some. I'm pretty sure Casper was sick. Now that I think of it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, shit happens, but we're gonna watch the substance. Yes. So we're gonna kind of go over it. Um, definitely see what we think. I'm mm-hmm. I'm so curious to see how this plays out. Yeah. I don't know a lot about it. The only thing I know about it is it's a very style stylized kind of fancy kind of queer um horror movie with a bit of street trash and okay. hum- uh society you know the movie society sure. mm-hmm. yeah yeah and just body horror thrown into it yeah i i'm so i've heard that it's had those elements but the thing that i love is like all the trailers i've seen don't show really any no of that. the only thing that i've really seen that's like been anywhere equivalent to like bad things happening is like her back opens up okay and then there's just like these like little uh, like her eyes get more eyes and i'm like she looks like a spider Ooh. but like it's in her eye hmm. and she has like multiple little eyes luke can put a picture up <laughs> okay yeah so hopefully you all have either watched this or um maybe we mm-hmm. will uh, inspire you to watch it afterwards because yeah. You know, we'll honestly give our opinion. I just I just don't know what to expect. I love like body horror movies uh, to an yeah, extent. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think there's times where they can go a bit too far with with body horror. Mm-hmm. There's fun bar body horror and then there's some where it's just like, ooh, don't do that. <laughs> like don't. <laughs> Like the, they'll touch on things that are really, you know, like what it's fingers for you. Yeah, uh, yeah. Fingers and like teeth falling out. Okay. It's eyes for me. Oh, okay. I'm not a big eyes fan. Like eye trauma shit. Yeah. Mm, that's that yeah, that's the one thing that, that kind of gets me. So yeah. mm, fingers and toes freak me out. Like if they're getting cut off or if they fall off. Nope. <laughs> I was watching uh I was rewatching Wolf Creek. Oh, the other shit. day, because uh, my girlfriend had not seen him, uh-huh. and I was like, "Dude, Mick Taylor's such a great fucking character. One of my favorite characters." And they do, they have a finger oh, trauma thing that I was that. like, "Oh, I need to show Ivy this." No, so. don't show me that. Yeah. I don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sweet. So it'll be interesting to see like where this is at on like the body horror spectrum. Uh, where does it fall? Is it more like um, Cronenberg body horror? Or is it more like kind of indie, goopy, slimy? I'm thinking it might gross. be some goopy, slimy, gross. That's that's kind of what I'm hoping. And you know what? We don't see that very often no. with female protagonists getting no. goopy and slimy. It's always males. Yeah. In this case, it's gonna be a female. And I'm curious too, because I like I said, I don't know. I know there's two female characters. The younger girl is an actress I've seen so many times, but I, I can never remember mm-hmm. her name. Demi Moore, of course. I'm curious to see, and don't tell me if you know anything, because I don't know if we're talking like a, a young her and an old her in the same movie, or if it's two yeah. different characters. So I'm I'm curious to see, you know, what the two actresses, um, 
you know, portray and relevance to the movie. I, you know, it could be she's a younger version of Demi Moore because there is quite a bit of an age gap between the two actresses. True. So I'm and curious to see if that's dark what it hair is. and shit. Mm-hmm. And it's uh, Margaret Qualley yes. is the young lady. Yes. Which I. Was she an American Horror Story stuff? Oh, yes. that's that's where I remember her recently from is uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yep. Been a lot of stuff. She's mm-hmm. in poor things recently. That's cool. All right. Well, with that being said. Yeah, we're going to check out The Substance. And we're going to give you a spoiler review afterwards. Yeah. Have you ever dreamt of a better version of yourself? Younger. More beautiful more perfect there's been a slight misuse of the substance let's go all right we are back we are we watched that was an experience (laughs) right off the bat i was gonna say i don't think i can do non-spoilers this part yeah, it's got to no. be just rip the bandaid off, talk yep. about everything. Yep, we are talking about everything, spoilers and all. I yes. mean, how can we not? There's so much to get into this movie. And yeah. And there's not really so much you can say, like, as far as, like, you know, describe it to a friend. We kind of did that in the beginning yeah. without even knowing what we were talking about. Exactly. And I, I don't really do, like, I, I can't limit myself i'm gonna say something anyway so yeah. it's best that we just let everybody know right up front hey we're talking about everything for the movie so if you want to stop stop now yeah go see it and then come back yes kind of like we did yeah <laughs> all right so um i guess I, i'm curious to to hear your first thoughts my first thoughts oh my god I loved everything about this fucking movie. <laughs> this is the first movie we watched together that, like, me and you were both, like... Yeah, like, like reacting. Yelling, yeah, yeah like yelling, yelling at the at screen. screen. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I, and I heard Luke come down. I'm like, yeah. is he going to scold us? Like, yeah. did we wait Casper we wake or something? The baby? <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, oh go, go on. I just... No, no, no movie it's okay. has really done that with so, us. So... So let's kind of start from the beginning and we'll work our way Absolutely, into it. Yeah. So like obviously the beginning starts with beautiful opening, by the yes. way, mm-hmm. where it starts off with um, the star, like the hollow yep. Hollywood star. Yeah. Being the sparkle made. star. Yeah. Yeah. Elizabeth Sparkles star. That's yep. Demi Moore's character being created on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Mm hmm. And you see, as time goes by... It starts to kind of crack. And it's getting weathered. There's people doing shit on mm-hmm. it. My favorite's the guy that, like, just spills his hot dog on oh it and gosh. shit. And it's so the funny part, like... I have a story from when I was a bouncer at a bar uh-huh. for a story for like that it reminded me of. Seriously. I can I totally yeah, tell the story? Do it, okay. Do it. So for those of you out there, I was a bouncer in Austin for about seven seven years. Um I worked at a music venue. So sometimes I'd be on front door, sometimes I'd be on back door where we have the band loading in and out. So one day, um we also had a hot dog truck. Like in our parking lot. Yeah. So it was called the Hot Dog King. And his wife would work and we called her Queenie. Like the hot That's dog would be Queenie. Yeah. I like that. So um the sidewalk in front of my venue was jagged. So you can't see me, but I'm describing the Ivy. So it would come over, dip, and then kind of level out and go around. So it basically cut around a, a dropped off part. Ah. So with that being said, it's not all straight concrete. So there's a lip. So the parking lot is like mulched for Mm -hmm. part of it. And so there's mulch up to this spot and there's a spot where there's a lip of concrete. (laughs) I see where this is going. Yes. Okay. So this guy and I'm talking to some customers on the front door because I'm just sitting on my stool holding the door open, you know, what it just bullshitting. So that we watch this guy and he's walking up. He got his hot dog and he goes And he hits that lip Mm -hmm. and just eats shit on the concrete. Doesn't brace himself for nothing. Oh, my God. We're talking just straight up smack the concrete. His hot dog tumbles over. And that cutout I described was gravel. It's basically like a mud puddle. Yeah. Um, But there wasn't wet. It was just like, and his hot dog rolled into the dirt and gravel. 
And so <laughs> I'm like watching him and I'm trying not to laugh because he ate shit hard. But then he goes and collects himself and picks up the hot dog that's covered in gravel. And I'm like, oh, please throw it away. Please throw Don't it away. Please it. throw it away. He puts it back in the bun oh, fuck and that. takes a bite and starts walking away. But the beautiful thing is. As he walked away, I looked down and I noticed there's a line on the concrete from his face skid mark and his wiener skid mark. So the hot dog, there's two like drag marks right next to each other. It's like and, a cartoon. Yeah. And they're like right next to each other because he ate shit and then spilled his hot dog right there. So they were like just the face drag mark and the hot dog drag mark That's right funny. by each other. But so, it made me think of that because he collected it. Oh, my God. Yeah, he did. I, mean, I'm I don't know there, if he ate it in the movie, but yeah. yeah. No, but no, this guy, drunk guy totally did. I <laughs> Man, I could talk to you all stories about my Austin days. Just some of the shit I've seen. Oh, I could go on. We could have a whole segment about it. But it was hilarious because he picked it up like that guy picked up the burger or whatever it was. Yeah, I don't know what it was. But the stains of the, you know, remnants of the ketchup and there's onions are left on her star. Star, which really just kind of there's a lot of deepness to this and a lot of Mm -hmm. like symbolism. And they're starting it right off the bat with that. Just like Mm -hmm. she's, you know, her stars now being discarded and like just, you know, mistreated and it's Mm -hmm. old and tattered and yeah. And and then it cuts to her like she's doing this like workout segment. Mm -hmm. I don't remember Sparkle Your Life or something like that. It was some cheesy name to the uh, to the title of like the workout video that Mm -hmm. she was doing. And she still looks fucking fantastic. I know. I yeah. Like it's like the fuck. (laughs) Yeah, it's you know, I guess before we get into it, like. You know, kudos to Demi Moore and Margaret. What's it? What's her Margaret Qua- Quayley? Quayley. I've seen Margaret, and in it's not that I felt that she's unattractive because she's not, mm-hmm. but like she never really like stood out to me per right. se. You know, because there. I mean, let's face it. There's so many attractive people in Hollywood, You're right? And, you know, it, yeah. it's you have to do something really kind of stand out for both of these women. For them to, you know put themselves in this film to where your body is going to be front and center Center. in so many shots, in so many odd, quote unquote, bad angles Uh per se, you know, like so many different angles, like kudos to them. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that, that takes balls. Even if you're the most beautiful person in the world, we all have our insecurities and, my goodness, they both looked phenomenal. They did. Uh, I said she didn't stand out. She now stands out. Yeah. My goodness, they are both top-notch, beautiful, great performance. But, mm-hmm. yeah, I wanted to kind of bring that out because I was mm-hmm. just like, kudos to you two because, man, yeah. I, ain't, I ain't putting my body in a film like that. And, Hell no. And we'll get to the body <laughs> stuff here Shit. pretty soon. <laughs> Uh, because like, you know, she, she has this nasty boss, <laughs> I uh, love Dennis, Quaid. Dennis Quaid. I loved his douchebaggy he, character. Yes. And he's just like the douchebaggiest, like, you know, businessman that you've mm-hmm. ever met. And it, like he, ew, he's gross. He's slimy. And they do a good job at like depicting that, especially yeah. when he's eating shit in front of her. No. Yeah. That. That really set it up because, you know, after the workout thing and then they they go out and have dinner Mm -hmm. and he's got the shrimp and it's all the close up in his teeth and, you know, the mess he left at the table. And that's another thing that I love, too. Um, The movie was artistic. Mm -hmm. There was like, you know, interesting angles, interesting Lots of close ups, too. Yeah. And I was like, good for you doing something different, doing something creative. Um, Yeah. So, I mean, I love that when you first really get to understand uh, Dennis Quaid's character and over it's that like, dinner. And it's like the first man that we see in her life. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. then the next guy that we see in her life is this kind of dork. Yeah, what was it, Fred? I think his Fred? name was Fred. Yeah, it was, yeah, Fred, and he's just like this friend from her high school that happens to run into her, as you know, that does happen. Which I'm sure every famous person gets that. Yeah. The, the person that, oh, we went to middle school together 17 years ago. Yeah, right. Whatever. It's like, oh, I don't remember you. Yeah. But like, 
he gives her like his phone number uh, on a sheet of paper. Yeah, it drops, drops in the puddle, and it's disgusting. <laughs> and he still gives he's, it yeah, to her. And he's like, got a whole sheet of paper that he could be like, oh "Hey, my, my bad. God. Let me just carry off another piece." You know? Yeah. No, he rolls no, with him. No. And it's not what not right. And I do like though. Um, we see her yellow jacket. Like this is just there's color likes. <clears throat> There's it, so much color in this movie. I, it screams Carmen San Diego. Yeah. That's what I kept thinking every time, especially later on in the movie when she was running. Yeah. Ugh, that was, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, like that. I don't know. There's so much color in this movie, too. Like there must be some sort of symbolism. So like for her yellow, yellow comes up when she's wearing her jacket, mm-hmm. but also comes up in the snow globe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that? Mm-hmm. yeah. That snow globe that she has, where she was a young, is a younger version of herself in a snow globe when she was like this big movie star, and she yeets it right at a big fucking picture of herself, yeah. and it fucks up the eye of it. Yeah, I think that's just so interesting. Like that is so foreshadowing. Yeah, yeah. It's um, but I just feel that I feel that there are so many parts of this movie that like. I feel like, duh, like yeah. maybe I didn't get it or there's more symbolism that I didn't mm-hmm. get. Like, I feel. That's why you need to watch it. I know. Because I feel like, OK, the movie wasn't over my head. Yeah. But I feel like there's other things that I like what you, was wasn't clicking or maybe I'm like, duh, you know, No, it's like it's one of those movies like you watch them multiple times. You catch more things. Yeah. Like, oh, that means that, you yeah, know. Yeah. But you don't usually get it on the first viewing. You yeah. Know? And I've only watched it once. But, you know. Shit stuck with me after this film. Yeah. And I'm sure it did for you as it, well. It did. And, and you know, I kind of was like, thank you. About time. About mm-hmm. time I, you know, saw a movie where they shot it different. Because, mm-hmm. you know, I'm always big on camera angles and doing different things and not just shooting mm-hmm. a straight up normal movie. Thank God they chose an original script. Mm-hmm. You know, they they did something different. They pushed boundaries. Like, all in all, great film. I was like, thank you, because I've been running into some fucking clunkers. Yeah. And, you know, I just thought about something before that guy gives her her number. She gets into a horrific car accident. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, that, I, that starts off the or the journey for yeah. the substance. Because there's this really cute male nurse, like, with really oddly specific eyes. Yes, they made them that way. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm like, those have to be contacts. There's yeah. no way that man has that gorgeous no, of there's eyes. No there's no way. Um, because they looked almost fake. Yeah. Um, and he goes, you know, well, you could uh, try this out. Yeah. And he slides her, like, uh, a USB drive. After he checks for scoliosis? Yep. <laughs> Feels up her spine. Oh, you got a good one. Yeah, you're going to be perfect for this. And it only makes sense later on (laughs) what we find out. Well, you know, she she later discovers like an ad in the newspaper that shows that like she's off the hook. They're looking for another person Mm -hmm. to replace her for a TV show. And she's like, nah, fuck this shit. Yeah. She goes out, she calls the number and they basically tell her, "Okay, you need to go to this address. And this is your number, 503 yeah, or whatever. because she finds out that the nurse the slipped the paper with the information mm-hmm. in her pocket, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and then she finds it after after she sees Fred, right? She's going through her pocket. Yes, yep, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> then she goes to the place where you get the substance at. Oh, my God. It's in, like, this scary, dingy neighborhood, which yeah. is so mm-hmm. cool, though, like, contrasted with her yellow jacket. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like I it, love that the door didn't even open up all the way. Yeah, she had to crawl through it. Yeah, and open up them. Uh, it, well, that's like it's like a slidey time. thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, yeah, the door doesn't even open up all the way. Yeah, and like she crawls through that shit, and all of a sudden it's like this immaculate yeah. matrix looking room, stark white room, just with these little lockers and shit. And then she gets all her supplies. Yeah, yeah, her first dose. And that's the funny thing. There are fucking rules. I know. Like gremlins to this yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. And the rules. No instructions. Are, right. No YouTube. You're not YouTube in this. Yep. I remember that's what we were saying. And yeah. I was like, oh, I would have fucked this up. No problem. <laughs> I would have fucked it up the first round. There's like, no instructions. And you just tell me I got to do all this shit. Like the rules were like, you must. Every seven days. You have to, you only activate once. Yep. 
and then every seven days you must sh- you must switch. Yeah, yeah. Like those were the two big rules, no exceptions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, and the third rule was remember you are one. Yes. There it's not is, two different people. Yeah, it is you. Mm-hmm. And I think that is just chilling mm-hmm. later on. It's like, <laughs> yeah, but it's so true. It's so crazy. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but yeah, that kick starts a thing. And uh, she goes back and she does it. She must have done this shit before because she taps up <laughs> like she's done this multiple uh, times. Yeah, the, the putting the tube around the arm. Yeah. I was a little too like, mm, this isn't the first time you've done that. <laughs> right. She's just like, you I know exactly what I'm doing. You maybe have dabbled in some doing. heroin before. She's like, I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, because to me, I like, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I think I, I know where my vein would be, but mm-hmm. I'm like. Who who's to say it has to go in a vein? Right. Not every shot goes in a vein, you know. And that's where I'm like, okay, I would have screwed that up, probably. <laughs> right. No kidding. And then like later on, we find out that you get other like essence from the back. Yeah. So you you take like essence from yourself, your, from like, yourself, and you know inject it into you to kind of keep mm-hmm. you regular mm-hmm. while you're feeding yourself, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah, I would have fucked that up. I would have never realized that. Because, like, the feeding tubes is literally just that. It says one day's worth of feeding, two days Mm -hmm. worth, blah, 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 blah. You know, and you just got to keep feeding yourself. They get, like, seven packets or whatever. Yeah, because I would have never known that I have to take the essence, we'll call it, out of my My suspended body, we'll Mm -hmm. say, and then inject it into me. Like, I would have never got that. I would have died day one. The birthing scene is interesting. It it was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just was like. Like she just burst out of the back. Mm-hmm. Kind of like a, another Gremlins reference. Yeah. She just pew. Yeah. Burst right out of that back. <laughs> Which kind of led us to, um, you know, she uh, sews her up. The sewing up oh part. Oh my god, I hated the way she sewed her up. You don't sew up Snipped a person like that. Every single time. After every stitch, snip. I was like, that is so stupid. <laughs> like, why would you do that? And Nothing's gonna heal. I know. And then when she gets into the shower and has all that fresh water on the open wound. Why right you know? after the seven days? Yep. Which, you know, you know, after the seven or well, okay, after the birth. Yep. Um, the new her or the better version of herself is Margaret Qualley and Sue. she calls herself Sue. Yep. Um, and immediately Sue goes to go get her old job back. Yep. Mm-hmm. And it's like, and of course she gets it back. No problem. She's this beautiful young lady. Um, that's the other thing too, that we forgot to mention. Like there's so many different like references to other horror movies in this. And we're not just oh, talking yeah. about like David Cronenberg and shit, yeah. but we're talking like, the Shining, like that hallway. The hallway, yeah. That the hallway comes the, back. Yeah, because you were, if you remember the carpet, we never saw that carpet again. It was just a one shot. Yeah. One shot where we saw that carpet. Yeah. Um, oh, I, the, yeah. I loved how long the hallway was. Yeah, it's always so long. It's always so long. I fucking <laughs> loved that. Well, even in her fucking apartment, that one ha- like rounded hallway yeah, that yeah. she has. To go from the bathroom yeah. down the steps. Yeah. <laughs> Down the fucking three steps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Sue, just at herself as a character, she's she's gorgeous. She's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Um, but what gets me is when she first is birthed, she just leaves the old body lying <laughs> on the yeah. fucking ground. On the, tile. on the tile. No pillow, no blanket, no, no nothing. I was just looking at this like, no, bitch, give me a blanket, give me a, you know, a pillow, it's, put me into the, my bed. But then, you know, if you think about it, it's symbolic. Yeah. It, it very much is symbolic. Just her just not even giving a shit and just yeah. leaving her body there. Not respecting her old self. And no. that's the other thing. Like, her tagline in the uh, videos that she does, she goes, remember, take care, take of, care yourself. of yourself. When she does She it. does not. No, no. And she, that'll come back later, her not taking care of herself, too. Oh, yeah. But, like, it just is so weird because, like, um, even when she switches back to Demi Moore, she leaves the young lady there. Mm-hmm. She also doesn't respect no, that version of herself. No, uh-uh. It's like, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. 
Yeah, it's and they're they're both the funny part, the the commonality between the two is they're both constantly running from the other. Mm -hmm. They're both constantly trying to push themselves away from the other. And, you know, they grow to resent that side of themselves Mm -hmm. rather than accept that side of themselves and coexist. They they push away and they run the opposite directions. And obviously, you know, when that happens, nothing good ever comes of it. And of course, you know. (laughs) Sue is having a great time being her young flirty mm-hmm, self again. Yeah. Nice ass, great titties. Yeah, yeah everything. Beautiful. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I, kudos to both of them. Both women for being full naked in multiple you, shots. You, you literally see everything. Yep. You know, there really isn't anything that you don't see. You see Bush for like a couple seconds. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you literally see everything. And that's what I was saying. You know, like, Kudos to them because I couldn't do it. The amount of focus paid on their bodies is something that I'm not sure I can ever recall seeing in a movie. Mm-hmm. You know, with so much detail and attention. And the only time I could ever say that I've ever seen it a long time ago would have probably been the opening scene of Carrie, and that was about it. Yeah. I think that's the only time I could yeah. have ever seen it. But yeah, that was a long time ago. That yeah. would have been the 70s. Yeah. 60s. And I mean, and, yeah. And it's just mul- like, you know, Margaret's ass. I've yeah. seen her ass probably 70 times <laughs> in this movie. You know, yeah. it's just it's crazy. So, yeah, it just. Yeah. Enough. Uh, so much for them, you know, for yeah. going out, you know, especially to me more. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. You know, I also like that, like, you know. Sue tries to because she's fucking some guy um, on the motorcycle kid. Yeah, uh-huh, she tries bag. to steal just a little bit more. Sorry, just one more day is uh, what she tells herself. Yeah, and she pays for it the she next day. Does she gives her other self the goblin finger? <laughs> I love that you just called a goblin finger the whole fucking time. It's so good. It's, it is. It's her goblin finger. <laughs> and literally, like, yes, that's a minor inconvenience now. But to her, it's like almost the end of the world. But it's like, no, wait, honey, it's going to get much worse. Yeah. Well, I mean, for her, because that was the first step to where she's now finding out Mm -hmm. that like your young self Mm -hmm. does shit that your old self pays the price for. Mm -hmm. And how symbolic that is, because that is such the truth. I have so many friends. True. That I mean, even even now, there's a guy I know that I actually saw tonight out on the streets. Aww. that's homeless and i know that he had drug problems in the past and it's like you you write checks your young self and your old self can't cash you know and i think that's kind of the symbolism in that whole like hey it, you can't go back you know yeah. you you burn that and you know you're you're done and to me that that's what happens is you know her young self sue mm-hmm. starts doing shit with disregard for what it's going to affect her older self and then you fuck around, you end up with a goblin finger. <laughs> you know, you those kids the out goblin. there. Hey, you youngsters, don't fuck around because you're going to give yourself the goblin finger oh when God. you get older. I fucking love So that. stop it. Don't take don't take them pills or what. I don't know. Whatever, whatever the hell that yeah, she just remember. Up with. Remember, Mark says you fuck around as a youngster. You get a <laughs> goblin <laughs> finger when you're older. So I fucking love take that. that. Take that to the bank. Absolutely. <laughs> and after she gets her goblin finger, uh, she actually, uh, she goes, does she go to a diner, like a rich person diner? Yeah. So that was, yeah, I, I think and in the timeline, the that was maybe man. a little bit later, but yeah, she, she, she eventually meets the guy that turned her on to it, but as his old self. Uh huh. And he kind of says like, Hey, beware because your young self is going to start fucking around with you like mine is yeah. and it's going to cost you. And she uh, he says something kind of neat. He goes like has uh has she started feeding off of you? Yeah. And it's like, well what the fuck did you look like before you end up being like this hunched over little mm-hmm. guy? Yeah. Uh damn. Yeah. So I mean, you know the the that's kind of where the premise of the movie starts to really take off mm-hmm. is you have this competing young version i want to you know experience all this i want to have fun i want to live in the moment and then you've got the old version that's paying the price for all those choices Mm -hmm. you know burning the candle at both ends 
And that really becomes the whole premise for the movie, in my opinion, yeah, from that like, moment going forward. It's like a whole cat and mouse kind yeah. of thing going on. And it's like, but the thing is, is like, it tells you multiple times and it rings in her head multiple times. Like, you are one. Mm -hmm. Like, no, and then also seven days, no exceptions kind of shit, too. Yeah. Which, let's talk about that for a second. <laughs> the seven days thing. What fucking job is going to let you not show <laughs> up to know. work for one, one week for one, on, week. one week off? What? Oh, I mean, if you're like a, so I mean, the only job, because I was thinking like, okay, you could be an oil rig worker, mm -hmm. you know, or something like that, because they'll do like one week on, one week off or something like that. Um, <laughs> could you imagine her being an oil rig worker? I know, worker? I know. She'd or, be the hottest oil rig worker ever. <laughs> or it's like, you know, you could be an extended firefighter, because I know uh -huh. firefighters will do like three on, one off, or two mm -hmm. off, or something like that. Um, So like, she could do that. But other, other than that, you're pretty much shit out of luck. And uh, here comes, like, the interesting part is, like, she finds – she – I don't know. I think she's going through the bag again for some reason. I think – oh, yeah, that's right, because she tries to get the number for the substance people. Mm, to call them, yeah. To call them be like, hey, look what this bitch did. And she's like – and they're like, no, no, no. You are one. Yeah, you're one. It's your fault. Yeah. And, like, they're, what has been done cannot be reversed. You can quit it at any time if you're not satisfied. Which is true. Yeah. You know, the same thing. And it's and it's with anything. Drinking, eating bad, mm -hmm. not exercising, smoking, any of that you do, you can stop at any point, point but the damage is still going to be done. Yeah. Whether that's irreversible at the moment you stop or not is completely up to you. But, you know, that's what I loved about this movie is it's just, I mean, it's obvious that's what they're going for, but I yeah. loved that that's what it is because we all struggle with that. That's mm -hmm. something literally every human being can identify with. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a story that needed to be told, for oh, sure. Yeah, And no matter, even though this uh, this movie was made by a female director and writer, Coralie, sorry, yeah, lady. you say it, not me. Coralie Bargit, she's French. Makes Pretty, sense why it's so artsy. I, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Uh, with literally only like one other movie to her name, and that's it. Holy shit. It's called The Revenge or something like that is the movie that she has under her belt. And then she's done a couple things for... Um, Oh, a TV series. Hey, you know, remember what we talked yeah, about with TV yeah, series, yeah, TV people? TV series. And, you know, I, I guess before we kind of go on man. and stuff like yeah. that. So, you know, we, we are saying how much we really appreciate this movie and we like it. I mean, I, I think I speak for both of us, mm -hmm. and she'll correct me if I'm wrong, but I think for both of us, this was our movie of the year. Oh, absolutely. 100%. Yeah. yeah. I mean, 100%. This, this, this is. Long Legs ain't got nothing on this movie. I enjoyed Long Legs, but it's mm -hmm. it no this this movie was better than than Long Legs. This like, one's great. Yeah, I mean this was this was, I mean dare I say this is probably the best new movie I've seen in I'd say maybe five years. Mm -hmm. I and agree. I I can't think of anything else new movie that that I've seen. Mm -hmm. That I would say is is better than this one. Mm -hmm. I mean, outstanding in every aspect of filmmaking for this one. And you know, we haven't even gotten to like the the, the best crazy parts yet. shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. So like, this is why kind of when the uh, for me when the movie kind of hit closer to home as a woman was when she you know she looking through her purse, all that other shit, and then she finds the phone number for that mm -hmm. one guy, Fred. Fred, yeah, 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 and. You know, there's also some parallels between Fred and then her neighbor, that dorky guy, oh. whatever, Oliver. The one that like, you know, he's going to he because. OK, so she makes like a little crypt for her old self in the bathroom. Like mm. she carves it out and shit while she's hot. I know. And like he goes up, Oliver goes up to complain. And then as soon as hot Sue comes through, he like he stops. Yeah. And he becomes a dork. But he's also like, you know, he's he's like, dude, dude, what the fuck are you doing? I wanted to be like, get, get out of here. If Demi Moore answers the door, you're not fucking complaining about the noise either. Right. Get out of here, dude. So it's like Fred seems like the better guy. Yeah. In this scenario. And she goes to, you know, hey, set up a date with them and she's getting ready. And God damn it. She looked great. Yeah. Yeah. She looks great. I mean, she's 61, probably 60 when she was filming this. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, jeez, she looked beautiful. And then then she looks at the her younger self, you know, um, yeah. because it's like there's literally a poster board of Sue. She, she looks at her insecurity. Yeah, is what she did. 
and like she looked at herself and then she runs back to the to the mirror and then she just she tries a different look and each and time it she fucks worse. Up. yes no she the best she looked right when she should have walked out that door the first time mm-hmm. she looked the best she looked wonderful yeah. beautiful and then it got worse because she started globbing on more lipstick and, and then covering up her cleavage i'm which with a scarf which and everything. like hey we saw your titties about 20 minutes ago right. y'all need to cover up nothing yeah you don't <laughs> leave them big ass nips like, leave them in the line fine. <laughs> <laughs> and uh and then what really got me though was like and the guys you know hey are you late and all this yeah. and and then she finally goes up to the mirror and she's just had enough like yeah. she she breaks down she's done she starts hitting herself and smearing, and smearing the makeup, the makeup and, and oh my god it, it hurt my heart to watch because okay ladies in the audience mm-hmm. and i'm sure there's men that also deal with this as well oh my god how many times as a woman have you like looked in the mirror you got yourself all dolled up yeah and then you're like nope i'm not going anywhere especially for like a date you know yeah you, someone you want to um, impress or yeah. you know have fun or hell even just for yourself true yeah yeah um because like there's multiple times where i'll look myself in the mirror i'll be like i don't look good enough i don't i don't want to go out now yeah it's not working or I'll try on a different outfit or whatever. I still don't look good enough, but yet, you know, someone let's use Fred in this instance is like, he doesn't care. He thinks that she's the most beautiful woman on Mm -hmm. this earth. And the fact that he even got a shot with her. Yeah. He even says like, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked on the phone call. That's why he stopped talking. Yep. And, and, and it was just like, God damn that that hurts so much to watch her hurt herself and like pull at her hair. And she does it other times in the film Mm -hmm, where she just starts banging. And I'm just like, oh, my God, please stop hurting yourself. But then it's like you can flip it and like it's like us as women or if we ever go through this, it's like, well, stop hurting yourself. Like Mm -hmm. actually stop doing that to yourself. Even if you're not physically harming yourself, stop beating yourself up every time you look in the fucking mirror. Yeah. It is so easy to do. And I, it's easy for me to say it like this, but it's so easy to do because there will still be pictures of me when I was younger. My husband will listen to me and I'll just be like, Oh man, I used to be so young and pretty back then. He's like, the fuck? Yeah. (laughs) Like one, he still thinks I'm pretty, which is very sweet. And then two, it doesn't matter what the other people think. Like literally the three men in her life, like the three that we see, we have Dennis Quaid's character, who's a piece of shit. (laughs) We have, okay, we actually, there's more than three, but like we have Dennis Quaid. Yeah, he's a shit. And then we have um, that next door neighbor. He's an asshole too. Even And, you know, and then you also have the uh, motorcycle guy. Who yells at uh, Demi Moore? Get the fuck out of my way. It's like, Jesus Christ, you're going to yell at her like that? Yeah. What? So, yeah. And then also, uh, the last guy in her life is uh, the nice one, Fred. Mm, Yeah, yeah. But we don't ever see him again. No. And I'm sad that we don't because that... Man, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. She could have had something good. Yeah, and I mean, you know... Talking about the scenes we were describing about her going back and forth, mm-hmm. you know, uh, being late to the date. Like, I, I definitely can tell, you know, like in that moment that like a female director, mm-hmm. I totally get it. You know, yeah. like, um, but it's still relatable too, you know, because we, we all have those insecurities and like, you know, men as well too. Um, we're a little bit more like, ah, fuck it, you yeah. know, but that's just, you know, maybe how some of us are different, but mm-hmm. You know, like we all, we all go through it in some aspect, you know, like, like I, I'm starting to get gray in my mm-hmm. beard and it's like, you know, you do have those thoughts of like, oh, you know, should I try to color or something like that? And like my fuck it kicks in. I'm like, nah, whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, it is what it is. Um, but, you know, we all have those, those moments and, you know, in my opinion, I think the weight of that falls on women more Mm -hmm. you know i i feel that we look at women as more the physical you know creatures and and the ones that where in my opinion you know like looks matter in a different way to women than some men not not everybody because of course nothing is across the board but just in a basic sense like you know 
image is so important to some women, Mm -hmm. especially women that are in the industry that she was in right? Exactly. and dealing with social media. Mm -hmm. And like, I know it wasn't social media here because it was old, but it's basically the same thing. It's advertising Mm -hmm. and billboards and all that shit. It might as well have been social media. It can drive you down a very dark path Mm -hmm. of self-destruction, which is really kind of where the movie Mm -hmm. takes its turn. Yeah. And the real push and pull between abusing, Mm -hmm. you know, what what you have right here and now, knowing that it's going to damage you in the long run and just not caring. Yeah. And like this is where it comes to a head because like she as Sue finally gets a like a big break. She's going to be that she's been waiting for. Yeah. yeah, This New Year's we're canceling the show is what they told her. She thought it. And and she's like, oh, shit. What? What? What am I going to do now? Sue was supposed to carry this. No, you're going to be like the star of a New Year's Eve show and blah, 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 blah. Big fancy dress and shit at this time. Yeah. And it's like, damn. Okay. And she's all giddy about it and shit. And it's like, that's when she starts getting greedy. Yeah. And then because she has like two months yeah, Ish. she wants to plan for somewhere. It yeah, like so there's yeah. there's a there's a time period where she has to be leading up to it, and I'm sure doing events, and, yeah, and advertising and different things. Because she so, was even on a talk show. Yeah, so that's when she really starts to start making promises to herself. Mm-hmm. If you remember, she said just just one more day. Yep, you know. And then it becomes, well, we hey, we scored this interview. Yeah, like we got it. We got We're to nail Vogue. this. Yeah, yeah. So she really starts to kind of make promises to herself that she she knows she's not going to keep more just lying to herself just to then turn around and like right. slit her own throat because of yeah. what she's doing to her <laughs> later self. It's not a goblin finger anymore. It's, it becomes more goblin. She looks more like yeah. a uh, what do you call it? like a witch? Yeah. And, and even before then, it went from goblin finger to like goblin leg yeah you know where she's trying to straighten it out and stuff and it just becomes more and more and more Mm -hmm. until she really gets into the pickle that she faces towards the end of the movie right and like when she becomes like this witch character i love it i think it's so funny like how much she resents the younger self because she watches the younger self on the interview Mm -hmm. and then she's (laughs) <laughs> she opens the package that Dennis Quaid gave her, like, you know, as a departing present. <laughs> the cookbook. The cookbook. And that was part of it, too, uh, to kind of rewind a little bit. Like, she's doing her, like, little exercise video, and this is why she thought it got canceled. There was, like, a big bump. She almost gave birth to a fucking, like, baby out of her ass. I know. And then she's, like, it moving it weird. around and... And then she like pulls it out of her stomach. It's a fucking chicken leg. I, that one threw me off. Yeah, I was thinking big, you know, tumory looking yeah, right? thing. And it's because she's like sliding it up her ass. Yeah, to, and it's like, a her, drumstick. I yeah. was like, okay, didn't see that one coming. That was crazy. Yeah, that that was interesting. I'd when, like to know the reasoning behind. When the drumstick. she pulled the thing out of her stomach, the first thing I thought of was video drum. When he reaches inside his stomach and pulls out the gun. Yeah. And I was I, like, there's, there's all sorts of things, you know, the stomach's been ripped open for popcorn. Yeah. I've seen the penis monster come out of the stomach. <laughs> right. All sorts of things come out of the stomach. Um, yeah. So she starts making food and stuffing her face yeah. with it to make her younger self suffer. Yeah. And even leaving the mess for her to clean it up. That was funny to yeah. me. She like trashed the apartment because her younger self trashed the apartment. But not as bad as she did. No, she had to one up her. I yeah. think I feel like she felt like she had to win something because she's getting the short end of the stick on everything. Yeah, she's getting fucked on everything, you know. So she was like, "I have to win at something," and I think that's what really kind of drives her at the end. Is like, it's not only like, do I have to get back, but like, I have to win. Mm-hmm. You know, like I have to do something better than her because yeah. she's getting all the wins and I'm getting shit on. And what gets me is it's like if it's you. Why are you doing this to yourself? Like, I know that that's part of the thing, like, you know, the insecurity thing. But it's like, oh, my God, you see how much this is hurting yourself later? Like, fuck, chill out. It's it goes back to that. Like, Mm -hmm. you know what I was saying earlier, you know, you 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 accept what you do at a young age, knowing the consequences. Now, now, granted, it's not as immediate, not as direct, Mm -hmm. but still, when you're 
fucking around when you're younger, you know it's it can cause some shit. And you're going to have to deal with it on the back end, you know? And the more that times that she goes after the substance when she's old. Yeah. She has the yellow jacket on. Yes. But, like, she starts covering, covering her herself more. Up, and it's just the like gloves. Gloves. Yeah. The, the eyeglasses. The whole neck scar. Yeah. She looks like a little babushka. Yeah. Running down the street and shit. And then... The weird shit starts happening. Yeah, it starts falling off the rails. Yeah, she is like, she now like goes like a whole month or something. Like, because it's literally like a day leading up to the thing and she's been Sue the whole entire time. Yeah, so, you know, during that two months, she's been abusing her older self, you know, pushing the envelope you know draining as much out of her old self as she can to maintain Mm -hmm. the success of today and it gets to a point where there's nothing left and and the white liquid is now turned black Mm -hmm. and and it's not going to help her anymore she's done that was so gross when it turned black yeah because it's like that's it that's Mm -hmm. you know everything has its breaking point everything Mm -hmm. has its end and that's what it was you know no more yep and then when that happened (laughs) oh man yeah (laughs) We finally get to see new Demi Moore, and she is this scary-looking dinosaur goblin. Yeah. Yeah. She is terrifying to look at. And, I mean, like, I want to know if that was her under the makeup running around like a hunchback and shit, which I loved. I love weird shit like that. Like, her running around, I thought was so awesome. Oh, my God. And even, like, her just, like, trying to, like, get the get the lady like the her younger self and mm. pushing her down the steps and shit and you hear the clunk 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 yeah <laughs> it, it, at the point of the movie where that is now everything is coming to a head you know sue is is collapsing and really paying for what she's done mm-hmm. to me more has had enough she's you know her body has just been absolutely mutilated yeah. by her younger self it's deformed she's never going to go out in public ever again her, her <laughs> life is essentially over at that point at that point personally i would have probably just offed i'd be done no jump yeah. out the window of that high rise i'm done <laughs> I look and there's no I'm past the point of no return. Yeah. And she even brings back her old picture, the one that she fucked the eye up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Just Um, as a reminder of, you know, what she had that she's lost. Which because that picture kept popping up, you know what it made me think of? Have you ever seen the movie or read the book by Oscar Wilde, The Picture of Dorian Gray? No. So little bit of context. It's like a Victorian kind of gothic horror novel. Where there's a young man who um, has a picture in his house. He's a young man, but the picture slowly is decaying and getting gross as the years go by. But it's what makes him immortal. Mm, Interesting. And he covers it up and all this. So, yeah. So that because the picture was used so much with the imagery of her getting old that's exactly what made me think of it made Mm. me think of like the opposite of dorian gray i like that your brain goes there because you (laughs) want to know where my brain went the only thing that my brain could comprehend that even remotely looked like it and it's more in the size but the um the big picture from ghostbusters (laughs) oh Vigo, <laughs> yes, the Carpathian. Where Yana sh- yeah. is like obsessing over it. Yeah, it made me think of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. It's possessing her. <laughs> it's a self portrait. They're both just standing there. Like I, I don't know. That's just what it made me think of. I love that. <laughs> this is this is just where our brains go, and it's I know. wonderful. I know it's wonderful. <laughs> um, but yeah, the real shit comes down to it, where she goes to terminate her her young self. Yeah, because she's you know had enough, and even though she's well beyond the mm-hmm. the the stopping point, yeah. I mean. Even if she stops, she's only going to arrive at one conclusion, which is the end. You yep. know, she she can't live with how she is. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, yeah, she decides, I don't care. I, I can't let I can't let her win. Mm-hmm. I feel like and I also feel like she couldn't take any more. Mm-hmm. But I feel like it was that last grab of control because to me, to me, Moore's character has not had control this entire time. Right. And the termination, the end all be all is the only bit of control that she could have. And she takes it. And then she 
then she's like, no, no, no. And we still have right the to... thing that's going on in like a couple hours or whatever. She, So she decides she's going to fucking bring this young Sue back to life. And then, oh, God, that's when it. Oh, shit breaks loose. All oh, hell breaks yeah. loose because <laughs> Sue wakes up somehow. They face each other. Yeah. And they kick the shit out of each other. Yeah. It's a knockout drag out fight. And I'm my like, God. So, I mean, the the part I, I think the, the part where me and you were like losing our mind was the mirror scene. Oh, my God. Yes. She just kept going. Sue Smashing just kept her in uh, the mirror. Uh, that was where I was like, oh, shit. Because the movie doesn't have a ton of strong horror gore yeah. elements until that scene. Yeah. That was brutal. That was that was that fucking was cool. like, oh my God. Yeah, and especially because, with the room being stark white and all oh, of a sudden you see the blood splatter in it. It's like, oh my God. Yeah. Also, she's still wearing her yellow jacket, so it even yeah. looks cooler, you know. Yeah, and just the the you know the moment of Sue just being one one mm-hmm. once her gone. I want to be me and I don't care what it costs. I don't care if it costs literally killing yeah. my other self. I want to be this version of me and nobody's going to stop me. And she <laughs> unleashes it and kicks the shit out of her. And yeah. So old Sue's dead. Yep. Young Sue goes. Yeah. Go get her pretty dress on. <laughs> well, and, and so, well, the, the part where it really goes off the rails uh-huh. is she calls and says that she needs more of that the, juice. the juice yeah yeah and so when she takes the other juice that's when she spawns off into mm-hmm. this other mm-hmm. you know you make a copy of a copy and shit goes haywire pretty yep, quick because she <clears> decides <throat> she's gonna she's gonna make a copy of a copy mm. after but after isn't it after her teeth start falling out and shit um, I'm trying to remember because this is where it's like, oh my god, shit's happening yeah, so it, quick. It, yeah, it started to get quick. I, I don't <laughs> because I thought that was it. Like her, the teeth are starting so, to fall out, and her nails yeah, are coming I off. Yeah, I think I think it, it was, uh, yeah, it was gradual that yeah. her body starts to break. It's down. like rejecting it's, it. Just oh my god! And when uh, I because I have teeth. a thing with teeth and especially fingers. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, and, and you got both of them back to back. Yeah, teeth and fingers. I was loving it. I was fuck. I mean, it's honestly pretty tame in far, as far as, like, the body horror stuff goes. It's not, like, full-on David Cronenberg the fly, which, yes, yeah. that does happen. His, like, nails start peeling off and yeah. shit. Like, <laughs> like, I had to walk away when that shit was happening. I'm like, no. No, I can't watch that. Yeah. I have bad dreams about, like, losing my teeth. <laughs> so, like, when I was watching that, I was like, oh fuck yeah and so she's trying to collect herself while she's <laughs> literally falling apart yeah and they're like oh smile dear you're gonna yeah. be on and just a bit it's like she can't fucking smile yeah, she has no front row of teeth yeah and so ultimately <laughs> she can't stop it it's just you know the the point that she arrived at she's there and there's literally nothing yeah. you can do and and she just gradually loses the human side of herself and right. then becomes because because she makes that copy of a copy and yeah. she goes, please be the better version of myself. Oh, baby, you did. Version. She was a pretty accurate version of herself. Oh, baby, she turned into something. She mm-hmm. went full society with the copy of a copy. Yeah. And she that. Yep. The monster. Demi Moore still in there with her face on her back. Oh, and she's yes. Got... With like the weird, like wide open mouth. Yeah. where It looks like the end of sleepaway camp. But I loved where she's still trying to look pretty. <laughs> yeah. Puts the earrings and yes. like the ear hole. Yes. Not even the ear. Oh my and God. then the other earring on the side of her head. Wherever that's the deformed. hell it's yeah. at. Yeah. Oh, that was so great. I loved that. And I she still she puts on that. the fucking dress and everything. She's and then still... she like, what does she do? She staples her head i don't remember i just remember the titty hole oh yeah the titty yeah. hole she, she got has a titty like hole two in the dress. titty holes in the dress because her tits are all over the place yeah. it's very funny the one's pointing <laughs> pointing like northwest and the other's pointing southeast right i was like <laughs> oh my god and there's like an arm growing out of her back and shit like she mm. is a monster She's that is basket case e you know damn yeah it's 
it's pretty much a train wreck. And then just to make it even cooler, she cuts out the mask. Yeah. So she puts, Mm -hmm. you know, Elizabeth Sparkle's Sparkle's face on her, um, which I loved. Uh, I yeah. love that And then shit. she put the lipstick yeah, on. Yeah, puts the lipstick on. Like, oh, <laughs> I so love good. that, like, you know, wretchedly disfigured thing still trying to be cute. Yeah. I love when movies do that so I love much. that. Like, it was beautiful. And, like, the, she even goes out there. To this, oh, she's going to. She's, she she's went out there. No matter what. She's hosting. And then, of course, monster. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, after she, you know, goes out and, and then her mask falls off. Yep. Because originally, like, you can, the mask is good size, so yeah. it, it takes up more than just her head. Yeah. So it is kind of hard to, like, realize, like, what the what fuck the am I looking going at? On? Yeah. yeah. What am I looking at? But then when the mask drops and then she tries to talk. Yeah. That's when everyone just is Freaks like, Freaks out. And then it's even better because doesn't somebody, like, cut off her arm? And she just starts squirting Squirtin blood, blood everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. And there's like a little kid in the audience and shit with like people with titties out. That was very strange. Yeah, I know. It was weird because all the like showgirls, yeah. dancers they had titties. were topless. Like, huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and then you just, you know, a bloodbath ensues where yeah. everything is covered in she, blood. To be fair, she doesn't kill anybody. No. Nope, she doesn't actually kill anybody, which I thought she might, but she didn't. Nope, she just... I mean, technically she killed her old self. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, like, Monster Her didn't kill anybody. She just sprayed everything with blood. And it was the most beautiful thing where she's <laughs> twirling around and blood squirting everywhere. <laughs> and then she goes down the hallway. Yes, and, and it just covers just covered it. In blood. Yeah. Oh, and, and that's where I was like, oh, gosh, they're going... They're going down this dead alive route that I wasn't expecting. Right. You know, with a movie like this. It was beautiful. I loved the contrast of the seriousness of the movie and then just the corny over the top gore. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's beautiful. And then at the very end, oh, my God, it like in a silly way, it it was touching, but also it was was silly (laughs) where like Demi Moore's like her like her monster self finally makes it out to like I don't know to like the sidewalk yeah out on the street and just explodes <laughs> explodes yeah just explodes a whole bunch of flesh and nastiness and yeah yeah gunk and mess yeah is like what the fuck <laughs> yeah and that was weird I I wasn't expecting that coming but hey I mean it's gotta mm-hmm. officially end somehow but. Yeah. Didn't even at that point. Yeah, because Demi's face finds a way. Sprouts legs and, and yeah, crawls, like crawls away. Crawls and ends up landing on Elizabeth Sparkle's star. Yeah. Which, oh. you know, is pretty fitting. That's where we started. Yeah. And, you know, looking up at the sky kind of, I, I don't know in that moment. I mean, taking it all in or, yeah. you know, I, I joke that she begins to sparkle. Because yeah. there's like sparkle that right. comes down and stuff. And it's it's just so fitting that it begins on the star and ends on the star. Yeah. And I just feel like, you know, I think at that point she finally had peace in herself. Like, I think she finally had, well, I'm going to die. I'm going to enjoy this little moment where, like, it's beautiful. There's the palm trees. There's a beautiful sky, you know, with the stars, which I don't know how you're going to see stars in a place like California. I don't know. Yeah, I've I, never been there, so I don't know. I, I kind of would like to think that, you know, I, I I hope that the character is actually having like a flashback of their life before their mm-hmm. eyes. And I think hopefully she's realizing that like 80 percent of her life was really good. She mm-hmm. was, you know, has her own star. She was successful. She was famous. She was beautiful. Mm-hmm. And she's now just finally realizing that like. Most of my life was really good. Like here I am, I'm dying on on a Hollywood star that I have. Like, yeah. Who has that? I I'd like to think that that's also kind of what she's doing, and oh, she's yeah. realizing that like yeah. my life was successful. Shit. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Not everybody gets that. You know, a fucking Hollywood star. You know? Yeah. No. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's a small amount of the population that ever make it to that. Yeah. So. <clears throat> and then she just whizzes away to nothing whizzed and away, gets yep. cleaned up. Street sweeped. Yep. Yep. Street trash. Just street, street sweep. sweep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. So yeah, that was a really fucking good movie. Yep. Uh, you know, I like I said, I I really 
dig this movie. It's my movie of the year. It's your movie of the year. I, you know, I, I can't think of a time in the past few years that I've seen a, a first movie that, that I ended up liking this much. And I know I told a shit ton of people, like, go see this thing. It's so good. And we're even telling you, go see it. Because what we described is just a little bit. You need to see this thing for yourself. It just needs to be seen just to be believed. Oh, yeah. it's. I mean, it's it's a great movie. I recommended it to my brother um, because, you know, like that's that's how I started watching horror movies and stuff like that. And I was, you know, telling him about the, the substance. He hadn't seen it. And we he always bounces movies off me to like see if I've seen or whatever. But... Mm-hmm. You know, I was saying this is definitely a movie I'm going to own. I absolutely recommend this. Um, can't say enough about how artistic, how bold, how ballsy. Yeah. Like, I can't say enough. These two actresses got balls to, to they really put do. their body on display in the way that this movie is shot is ballsy and Demi Moore at 60, potentially 61. Uh-huh. Holy shit. And the acting, when she starts losing it, oh my gosh, it harpens back to all the attention she got back on G.I. Jane. Oh shit. Yeah. I forgot about that. Because actually. yeah, she's, you know, done movies, but she's not like done those roles that really showcase what she is as an actress. Yeah. And, and to me, that's like, wow, she's going back to like, what she was doing then in the, in the notoriety she got. And I'm pretty sure she won like a shit ton of awards. Oh, yeah, now. she did. I remember when that movie came out. Yeah. So, I mean, she acts her ass off in this movie. Great. Great. Outstanding. So, yeah. This probably won't end up getting or being nominated for an Oscar. Oh, but goddamn, it, it should. It absolutely should. Like, no see, question. The way I see it is because we, we love the Tony or Tonys. Oh, my God. The, <laughs> the, we like the Tonys, too. Is, the Tonys, is that music? That's music. OK, I yeah. thought so. We like the Oscars. We host Oscar parties. We do. We go all out for yes, the Oscars. Yes, you do. But the thing is with horror films is they always get the short they end of the do. shaft yeah, uh, when it comes to Oscars. Mm-hmm. And like you saw like Tony Collette fucking act her ass off in Hereditary. That bitch should have gotten an Oscar. She was that good. Yeah, yeah. Demi, I'm hoping like at least a nomination it, or something for the substance, whether that be makeup. So I don't know something. Th- and this movie to me has a different buzz around it because to me, more is in, in, uh, Margot or Margaret, Margaret, Mar- Margaret, Margo? Margaret. Margaret. Yeah. They have more notoriety than what was in hereditary. And I hope that pushes it through. Cause I mean, I, you know, you watch more non horror, I think than probably I do. Um, I don't know any other performances. I I don't think I could name you another movie that is like Oscar worthy. It's it's absolutely no. I can't at this point. I haven't watched very many movies. Okay, all right, yeah, I, <laughs> I'm with you, bud. To me, it's I, I if it's it's a TV series and then it's there there's horror and that's it. Not until Oscar season rolls around do we actually like watch like the ones that have been nominated mm, okay. and then we'll make our guesses from there. And that's always cool because it opens us up to like all these films we never would have watched otherwise. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. But other than that, you know, we don't really have too much that we've watched outside of Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice and the <laughs> substance. Awesome. So, yeah, I, I think we're just we're going to give it, uh, you know, probably the, the best grade that we possibly can give 10 out of 10. It. Yeah. Um, a plus. Definitely see it. Definitely own it. Yes. Um, it's going to be on streaming soon. Don't don't fucking do it. Don't do it. Buy it when it comes out on, yes. on media, please. <clears throat> it's we've, already hard to get a hold of or watch right well, now. We've, we've got to keep buying it. We've got to, the younger generation. It's up to y'all whether I just randomly punch you in the face or not. Because if you guys <laughs> stop buying media, it's going to cease to exist. And, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, yes, the stuff that I have is going to become more valuable, but I don't care because it's not like I'm selling it. Right. But how are you going to watch it? Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're you going to come to me. I have, I have seven VCRs, but I ain't letting you have one. It's OK. I got like we got like four and yeah, half okay. of them don't work great. Oh, that's when I love like 
mess around with them and trying to get them to well, work. Well, if you can get ours to work, that'd be great. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm a wizard with VHS. <laughs> nice. So, some of ours are just kind of, well, they're the dual because it's DVD and VHS. Oh. So it's kind of meh. Yeah, it's like, the shitty version of both. Yeah. <laughs> it's not yeah. good enough to be it's a not, standalone. It's not great, but like that's the ones that we have just for convenience. Yeah, no, I totally understand. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Well, you know, like I said, great grades on this all around. All around. We love it. Uh, mm-hmm. Definitely. Do well, you have anything 100%. in closing? No. No. It's just a good fucking movie. Go good see fucking it. movie. Go buy it. All right. Well, with that being said, look, look out, out for each other and, and take, take care, care of yourself. Cellar <laughs> <laughs> <Seller> dwellers. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>